I can feel him. Oh, there he is. Oh, yes. Here we go, baby. Nice fish here. Oh, yes. Cut bait for the... Oh, God. Come on. Oh, my God. Already, look at this. Ooh. Man, that didn't take but a second. I don't know if I could ever cook anything on this channel again to match that right there. What's going on everybody? Made a road trip today, me and Stephanie, all the way over to the Tarpon Springs area. Found it on Google Maps, Fred Howard Park, Saltwater. We about to get up here, we about to fish. Some of these bridges, they got two, two bridges that I see. See if we can't get on some mangrove snapper or whatever. I don't know what we're gonna catch. Hopefully we can find something to eat. We're just gonna drop down some live shrimp. I can see a bunch of fish down there. Just don't know exactly how big they are. Tide seems to be slowing down. Uh oh, there goes a bite. Oh, I got it. Oh, I had it. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. We're gonna drop it right back under the bridge. Oh, there goes a bite. Come on. Did you get it already? That gum, man. Bait stealers. And they're good at it. So many little ones down there. But they some big ones. Come on. I can feel you tapping it. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, might be a decent fish. Might be a decent fish. Ugh. Oh, a little red. What is that? That's a little croaker. That's a, no, that's a little snapper. That right there is what we call a grunt. Look at the orange mouth on that rascal. That little, we call them grunts. Little snappers, Key West snappers. Get them back down there. And I still got my bait. Can't beat that. And there's a pile of mullet down there. I mean a pile of mullet. And unfortunately you ain't allowed to cast net off of this bridge. Or I would probably That'd be one shot right there, and you'd have more than you need. Holy smokes. Come on, fish. Bite, 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 bite. Oh, oh, that was a good fish. That was a good fish. And I didn't get him. Dead gummit. Well, it don't take them long to get on it. There we go. Back on again. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on. What we got? Oh, mangrove snapper. That's a little old mangrove snapper. And he is definitely going back because. They gotta be at least 10 inches to keep. And he is nowhere near it. But he was a fun little catch going out there. Oh here we go. I'm on, I'm on. Oh yes. What is this? Another snapper? Oh nope, that's another grunt. There he is. Another grunt. Whoa, look at him. He's coming in for a hot meal. Not today, buddy. Those jokers I just got. That old orange mouth. Mm-mm-mm. If they were a lot bigger, that'd be some good eating. He's gone. Man, let's see if we can catch us another one. 
We need something we can eat. Come on. Ooh. Oh. Yep, missed him. Missed him, missed him. Didn't take but a second though, and he was on it. Come on. Uh-oh, I can feel it. There you go. Got him that time. There we go. Oh, what is this? Huh? That looks like a sand perch. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what that is. If I'm wrong, let me know down below. Bye bye. Stephanie got one. What you got? Oh, you got another big sand perch. I'm pretty sure that's a sand perch. Yeah. That's a nice one right there. I got one. Yes, you did. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> he's got a fish down. <laughs> All right, get him on back. Woo, he gone. And we got thunder in the background. Looks awful dark. Woo-hoo-hoo, it don't sound good. Hopefully it holds up for a little while. All right, back under the bridge we go. Come on. Oh, here we are. I'm, oh, yeah, might be a better fish. I don't know if it's a keeper fish. Oh, that's a better mangrove right there. Yes. He ain't no 10 inch, but he's bigger than that last one I caught. And hope I would love to get some keeper size of those rascals right there. Oh, he just peed all over me. Cause those are some fine, fine eaters. And they got a couple teeth right there in the front. And they are pretty gnarly. Get on back. There you go. Alright, let's go. Under the bridge. It's working pretty good for fish. Even though I'm guessing you could get them about anywhere out here. Uh-oh, there we go. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, and I missed. Swing and a miss. But clean me out. Clean you out too? Yeah. Yep. They'll do it. Dang, he's on it already? I guess so, don't take them but a minute. They just congregated under there. There we go, oh, might be a little bit better fit. Oh, that was a nice fish. Dad gum it. Oh, he broke me off. 15 pound floral carbon, he snapped it. That sucks, man. That's one of the fish I've been waiting on right there. I don't know what it was. Could have been a big snook, because I know there's a bunch of snook they say hangs out underneath the bridges here too, or it, it could have been anything. I don't know. I didn't get it in, so I don't know. All right, let's try it again. I probably should have extended that leader. I just used what was left, so we'll see if that works. Sometimes the mangroves and fish, they get a little shy if they see that braided line. So we'll see what happens. Oh, already on. Oh, that was a bite. Hope we didn't get that bait. Nope, he didn't. Let's go to the bump bump again. Come on. I got him. I got him. What is this? Oh, that's a little old bitty mangrove right there. He's a feisty little rascal. Simmer down, get you unhooked. All right, so I got the hook out of him. We're gonna get him right on back. There you go, buddy. He gone.
Come on. Oh my god. Already look at this. Ooh. Man, that didn't take but a second. What is this? Oh, that's a that's a lot better mangrove right there. Still ain't that keeper. But he is a lot bigger, that's for sure. And that didn't take but a split second. Holy smokes. Yep, by another five inches and he'd be legal. Bye-bye. Oh, Stephanie's on down there. She's got one. Ooh, get him out, baby. Has he got you hung? Yeah. Oh, he's got her. Oh, there you go. He's out. He's out. Ha-ha. <laughs> What you got? Oh, I got one. I think. Nope, it came off. We got a little mangrove, yep. Little old baby mangrove. You got him. They got them, watch them teeth in the front. They got gnarly. You better get the pliers. Cause the heel, you got him? Baby mangrove. All right. He gone. All right, y'all. We're about to make a move. We're going to go to the other side. Not that it's probably going to make a whole lot of difference, but new area. Try it out. There's another bridge down the road. We may go hit here shortly. Look, simple, fun, easy. Anybody can come here and do this. Google Maps, Fred Howard Park. Look it up if you're ever over in Central Florida area. Want to find something new? Hey, come check it out. See if we can get across the road without getting ran over. Frogger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got some cut bait rigged up over here on this side. We got we caught some bait fish. Now we got cut bait. It's gonna stay on a lot better than that shrimp. At least for these snappers. And we'll see what we can catch. Oh, there we go. We got some nibbling action going on. I can feel him. Oh, there he is. Oh, yes. Here we go, baby. Nice fish here. Oh, yes. Cut bait for the... Oh, God. For the wind. Oh, look at this mangrove right here. Woo, that might be an eater right there, baby. That might be an eater. Oh, yes. If he measures 10, if he measures 10, he's going to be an eater. Woo, baby. Yes, sir. Mangrove snapper for the win. A nice one, too. I got to go get the ruler. I got to get this guy measured, make sure it's a legal fish to keep. If it is, we're going to be eating good. So according to fish rules out, minimum 10 inch size limit, bag limits five, open Gulf state waters. Well, I had to go get the ruler and Stephanie's down there catching fish. What do you got? You got a puffer fish? <laughs> He's a little guy too. Yep, he doing a little puffing. He ain't all puffed up. Way you go. Just under 12 inches. So he is a legal fish to keep. All right, y'all, we're packing it up, getting out of here. Look, my shirt is soaked. Stephanie's about to pass out over there. Gosh. It's literally like 105 out here right now with the heat index. I don't know if it's quite that hot, but it definitely feels like it. So we're about to get out of here, go find some lunch. Hey, we got mango snapper on the menu. Hey, we about to cook up these snapper fillets. I'm telling y'all this dish right here, you're gonna wanna check it out. It is absolutely delicious. Gonna need a little bit of olive oil. Just enough to coat the pan down there. We're gonna blacken these fillets up. Just get you some blackening season, whatever you like. And we're gonna dust them right on down. Let that pan get hot. Ooh, 
them ain't gonna take long at all. Woohoo, yes indeed. That's what we're looking for. That beautiful blackened up color right there. Listen, it's just hard to beat fresh fish. We all know that. Hey, them fish are blackened up. Get you some shrimp. I like using some of the smaller shrimp. Use whatever size you want. Keep that oil in your pan with all that flavor. If you have to add a little oil, add a little oil. Go on and blacken these shrimp up with that seasoning. That's what we're about to do. We're about to cook this shrimp in this blackening season. Don't season it too heavy. Just get just dust it up a little bit. Go right on in. Get on in there. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be good, I'm telling you. Mm. Look, when them shrimp get pretty well done, make sure you cut your heat down. Y'all check this out. We about to come in here and use a little bit of that half and half. Y'all watch this. Got all that seasoning in there, that blackening season. Not a whole lot. Just enough. If you want to add a little bit more seasoning, maybe a little garlic, a little salt and pepper blend right here. Not a whole, whole lot. Just to give that half and half a little more flavor. We're going to let this come up and thicken up just a little bit. Now when that starts to get happy, happy and thicken up a little bit, look, I'm about to come in here and I'm about to hit it with this Dano's cheesening. If you don't have the Dano's cheesening, just use regular old grated Parmesan cheese. Look, just go right in there like this. Oh, oh, oh yeah. We might add just a little more. Get everybody in the pot and stir it up. Make them happy, boy. Oh, that is looking fantastic. This dish right here is simple, fast, easy, and absolutely delicious. Now this is where the magic's about to happen. You got your bed of rice right here. I got cilantro lime rice. You put that filet right on top of that rice. And then you come in here with this shrimp and sauce goodness. Yeah. Right on over the top. I want y'all to look at that right there. Tell me that does not look absolutely delicious. And it smells even better. We about to dig in here and we about to see what it's hitting on for real. Well, first we're gonna try this sauce out down in that rice. That Parmesan Dano's cheesening. Mm. Over the top, I'm telling you right now. We're gonna try it with the shrimp. Mm. Light dusting on the blackening season with those shrimp, that's perfect doing it like this. Then you throw in that uh, half and half and that cheesening, a little salt and pepper. I don't know what else to say. That right there is phenomenal. But we about to have a taste of all three. Get over here. I quit. I totally just quit. I'm not over exaggerating. None of that. This is a must try dish right here. I'm telling you. Unbelievable. Those fillets cook beautifully. The blackening the way I did them right there with that seasoning. Nice and moist, meaty. A little flaky, not necessarily meaty firm holds together well it's all about the seasoning right there though i'm telling you that's what brings it all together look at that that is just that's all that's all three in one right there baby going down the hatch too it's over with i'm telling you i i don't know I don't know if I could ever cook anything 
on this channel again to match that right there. That's for real good. Unfortunately, that's all I got for you on this video. I'm about to sit here and finish cleaning this up. I might jump on a little bit more. I'm not sure yet, but I'm telling you, try this recipe out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Use any kind of fish. It ain't gotta be necessarily snapper. It could be whatever fish you got. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work just fine. Had an awesome time down there at Fred Howard Park. Me and Stephanie had ended up getting that one nice mangrove snapper. Would like to have had a couple more. We caught fish, we had fun. That is the main thing. Check that place out if you're ever over in Central Florida. I think you'll like it, no problem. Hey, I appreciate all the continued support you guys keep showing me each and every week. New subscribers, likes, more views on the video. It means a lot, we're steadily growing. And we're just going to get on up the ladder. That's all I can say. We're just going to keep on grinding it. But until next time, guys, y'all take care. And we'll see you on the next one.